And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Aphelios Zoe. We got this donation deck to play a deck with all Targon. We're not uh, splashing any region at all. Um, if if you, it probably would make sense to splash like a little bit of removal somewhere in in one of the other regions. But you know, the person that donated for this deck likes to display the singular region deck, so we got no splash, just all Targon. So what we have here is two of the and if not the very best champions in the game with Zoe and Aphelios. So it'll be interesting to play both of these two together. They're both, um, they both can generate a ton of card advantage and for cheap, you know, one mana for Zoe, three mana for Aphelios. These moon weapons that you're, that you're creating are all pretty awesome. They all only cost two mana. Um, so, you know, like we're not spending a ton of mana. Um, so we're going to be able to have a pretty low curve, right? We got 11 one drops. And then when you look at twos, threes, and fours, most everything there, we have a couple of top end cards, but not too much. Um, <clears throat> because we are all Targon, we have Mountain Scryer in here, so like our Celestial cards ha uh, help have those cost one less. We have the Fangs that's going to be able to invoke Celestial cards that cost three or less, and also have that Life Steal to help us stay alive. We have, of course, the uh, Spacey Sketcher invoking the Celestial cards that cost three or less. We have a lot of ways to invoke those Celestial cards that cost three or less, which is great. A couple of Spell Thieves for like our opponent's removal spells, if they have like some good removal that we want or you know any kind of good spells. Got a couple of those because we want to play lots of cards with different names of course for leveling up zoe but we also want a lot of cheap cards because we want to we want to play two uh cards in a round to be able to make a moon weapon and also be able to play that moon weapon and get rid of it so we want a lot of cheap cards and so hopefully all of that helps that but then if we need it at the top end we got three star shapings to get the the expensive celestials that can um finish out games and also again heal our nexus sunburst removal I mean, it's possible we just don't even need Eclipse Dragon in this kind of deck anymore with all of this other um, ways to invoke like these Celestials and everything. Maybe these Eclipse Dragons should just be cheaper cards. Like, I don't know, like Lunari Priestess or something. But we got a couple of those and we got one Skies Descend for our uh, different Celestials. If we get um, a whole bunch of Celestials in play, we can Skies Descend for like these Targon Mirrors to finish the games out. But yeah, maybe, maybe like these two Eclipse Dragons, maybe it should be like two Skies Descend, one Eclipse Dragon. I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of see how this guy's descend uh, does. So, all right, let's give this a try. Aphelios Zoe. All right, you can splash Yasuo. Yasuo is a good card splash. Turn one, Zoe. We are awesome. I'm keep. I'm gonna keep the Sunburst because of Yasuo. I mean, both Yasuo and Aphelios, you really want uh, to be able to kill those. And so we're gonna keep the Sunburst. So we just have that, and now we have <coughs> Duskbringer that can make the dust, and we can get rid of the dust to get a Celestial card that costs three or less. And then obviously the super cool Star Chart can make a Celestial card that costs three or less. I want Moon Silver. Darn, I wanted Moon Silver to be able to make three mana Mountain Scryer. I'm a serious artist now. I made Spermal Flex. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Try to keep up. So do we think they have Hush? Probably not. Probably not. It, I would need to keep the Sunblast Vigor up if they did have Hush. Okay, cool. I can grab this Moon Silver, and so I can still have the Sunblast Vigor if we need it. Ooh, we 
hit that allegiance. Very good. Uh, I can play this destroyer next turn if I use the moon silver on the destroyer, and then you know, like my two three stays alive. It's either that, or you don't get a two mana trickster. We'll just take this destroyer. to pursue the fearful. It's maybe not even worth trying like the Zoe if they're like if they're gonna hush the Zoe. Like you know, if, they help, if they hush the Zoe, they're not like really killing this destroyer. Paint your feelings. It's maybe not even worth it, attacking here because all like my best case scenario is the Zoe hits them and I get a super cool star chart. Yeah, they did have the hush. Oh, it's on. Can I paint you? There's a good chance I should have just only attacked with the 9-7, and that's it. But even in that worst-case scenario... Um, ...like this, then they don't have the hush for the destroyer anymore. Definitely don't have this one anymore. They had a incredible last turn, and if, and so if they can build on that, you know, start getting you know like Yasuo and stun cards and stuff like that. Yuck! Another Philios. The brighter my light, the stronger your shadow. That's not good. All right, they're gonna just keep on getting these moon weapons. Uh, no, I guess no real specific goal in the deck be on celestial good stuff. No, not really. It, the attack with the Zoe is looking like it's gonna cost you all that, and then them having three Aphelioses afterwards. You know, they they played they played one, I killed it, played another, then played another Aphelios champion spell. Where's our Aphelios? Good. <clears throat> yeah, they're just gonna stun that thing forever. I was planning on playing Eclipse Dragon, but I guess I will only have one mana if I play this Eclipse Dragon. So if they have like some more stun cards. Um, 
I don't think I'm gonna take lethal. Like, even like elusives, I don't think I'm taking lethal. I have the Duskbringer could still play, now we have the Serpent. Patience and virtue make a now who's got the upper hand? They forced us to choose death or the blade. So much done. I'm just glad they didn't have the overwhelm. We will resist. I guess it's only thirteen. Obviously, playing the Eclipse Dragon really hurt. What? Okay, let's just get a new... <clears throat> start going towards... You know, that'll give them, like, the Calibrum, Cerebrum, that kind of stuff. So I just need to play any spell to give this blade twirler plus one plus one if I try to deal damage to it. Done, right? Okay, yeah. <clears throat> I was thinking that maybe I could do like the three damage and then grab a stun. You know, it'll still end up with the five stuns. The spirit gives to those who listen. That's round start. It also just starts making these moon weapons. Each round start as well. Infernum is overwhelm. This thing is get a two drop. Let's take the overwhelm. I didn't. I didn't have lethal with Crescent Strikes attacks because they, as they show there, they were they would have been able to replace like two Crescent Strikes, uh, would have stunned four things, so they were gonna have two blockers still. It wasn't gonna be like a lethal attack or anything. I need to make sure that whenever I use these Crescent Strikes, I'm actually killing my opponent, and I was not gonna be able to kill my opponent. Like there, I just it wasn't possible to kill my opponent last turn, and so I think it would have been a waste of these Crescent Strikes. I think they're they're really valuable at winning the game, but I need to make sure that they win the game. Try to keep up. Plus two, plus one, and overwhelm. Inferno. And I, so I wanted to.
want to give this thing overwhelm because I feel like if, if I give the Eclipse Dragon overwhelm, they're going to be stunning the Eclipse Dragon. But I guess this thing does have three health, so it dies to the Calibrum that they just got. Here's our chance. Okay, they're gonna use the Calibrum over there. One mana short now. I have to hit like Equinox. I need to hit Equinox. I don't get to. I don't get to Hush and Crescent Strike. Oh no no no! What am I doing? I was looking at the Hush and Crescent Strike and, and talking about that, and I I obviously I really meant to play Spacey Sketcher and discard this and get get Equinox because I I wanna I wanted to silence the, my destroyer so I can allow it to attack. That's really frustrating. I had this set up so well, and then I just blew it there by playing that Priestess. Playing that priestess really blew it. I had the setup so well. Dishonorable. Two drop. Yeah, yeah. So you just, yeah, gravitum. You can, yeah. It's very easy to phase this every other turn, and so it's just permanent stun. I guess they got me. I should have had this the previous turn. Pick on some of your own speed. They would have had a deny. Blunt. Do not fear, Aphelios. I'm with you. I don't know. I was ahead at the time, and I thought I could just kind of finish it out with attacking with that Zoe, and I just I just really did not need to attack with that Zoe and just even have it uh, be able to get Hush, because we saw, like, they just don't, they didn't have, like, removal, right? Like, if I just don't attack with that Zoe, I think that's a fairly easy win also. So besides just playing the wrong, you know, playing that wrong one, too, that's something that I can uh, change with how I played uh, moving forward. Send them all back. We, would, we just want turn one, Zoe. Yeah. Only a fool would enter battle So that was the that was the big thing that I could have definitely just done differently. Because if I if I don't attack with the Zoe, my Zoe is at seven out of ten. If I don't attack with it, it, it levels up. So then whenever I'm playing like that dragon that's the elusive and all that kind of stuff, like we would have, um, you know, given all of our things elusive, you know, like we would have uh, been able to win that one. Lunari, rise! Never. 
All right, so Mountain Goat just kind of gets checked by the Duskbringer. Don't really need to play the Mountain Goat. I assume they're going to want to have mana for Hush available. And so I'm not planning on attacking with Zoe. So I'm just getting Aphelios in play. So we can start the cycle of the moons. So unlike our last opponent, this opponent is playing removal. Um, that get excited could be a good thing to spell thief if they have their own Aphelios. Victor out here. I wonder if, like, a good chance that we're supposed to have this Veil Temple in our deck. I wonder if we're supposed to have that. Just so it can produce the extra mana for us. Yeah, maybe, maybe we need to have that Veil Tempo. Maybe that's just... A card that I'm missing, like, instead of playing, like, Eclipse Dragon, um, right, like, I talk, talked about that, like, it's possible, like, Eclipse Dragon just isn't necessary anymore in these kind of decks, um, with how much, uh, card advantage cards like Aphelios produ produce, you just need mana. Witness perfection, meat bags. Alright, I guess I'll play that first. Can you improve perfection? Oh, right, now other thing's a 4-4. Four, four. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. If they don't kill my Zoe this turn, Zoe's gonna level up. I really hope they don't. Yeah, I think that super cool star chart's definitely good enough to main deck. You leave me no recourse. So they can use if they if they're playing Pell Cascade, they can Pell Cascade that does bring Nine. That one. Ten. Okay, so we have a level up Zoe. We make some zero mana behold the infinites if we can strike. No, no, no! 
card's pretty good. Mm. I was hoping for Equinox. wait another turn before playing this other elusive yeah i really like this yeah i really like the leveled up art for zoe a lot more than the than than the regular art it's like the best part about like level leveling up zoe is not <laughs> not having like this you know, like face making faces at you Yes, the each moon weapon is a different spell for Zoe, yes. Can you improve perfection? So far our two opponents have, have out Aphelios to us. That's why we are losing, we're getting out Aphelios. They've also both both of it's no, you know, notable that both opponents have had the Veiled Temple and then had a lot more mana than us because of it. So from playing these two games, it does kind of seem like we need like this temple card just so we can have, so we can compare with mana. But um, I don't know. Our opponents are, are definitely out of Feliosing us. You know, like I had I had an Aphelios. They get excited. It. I took their get excited to kill their Aphelios, but their Aphelios turned into a four four with the Veiled Temple. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and make the, that one small change to our deck. We're going to go ahead and add in the three Veiled Temples, as we saw that with both of our opponents, just getting that extra mana all the time. Um, definitely really important. And then growing your strongest ally can also help protect our champions and get them out of removal spell range as well. But, um, you know, just we just want extra mana. So we're going to try we're going to try playing Veiled Temples to make room for them. I'm taking out the two Eclipse Dragons and I'm taking out a Fangs. Um, so that, that makes room for them. But then I'm, I'm also going to play another Skies Descend. As we see with these games, um, these games take forever. And it's like them playing a whole bunch of stuff, us playing a whole bunch of stuff. Um, we do have a whole lot of Celestials. I think that we can maybe get another Skies Descend. For, as far as one other card to take out, so then to fit, so that's four cards. We got to take out one other card. I'm taking out just a Mountain Goat. Um, it it feels like like these like one and two drops don't really matter that much and they'll just kind of trade and, and everything and it's it's not real like they're not really that important we i don't know if we really need five of these two drops so i'm just going to take out a uh, mountain goat as well all right so let's let's try this uh out with these upgrades all right playing against the burn deck All right, so we got our champions in Veil Temple. So we'll kind of see how this Veil Temple does. Hmm. Portal Cannon's gross. We won't want elusive. So, yeah. You know, this this kind of matchup we can't just afford just to take damage and and hope that um, you know maybe Zoe you know like Zoe would be able to get through and stuff later. We can't do that. It's Draven time. Golden 
Sun Sister. Now we're cooking. Axis coming right up. So I think my plan this turn is to play, you know, Gem, maybe on like the Priestess, and then Aphelios. Um, so as far as which one of these weapons, maybe the three damage to a follower. If they have like Arena Battlecaster, that would set up like Life Steal afterwards. Time for the money makers. Okay, so I could also with the three damage to a follower, I could just kill the Elusive, which could be important. Are made to be broken, like buildings or people. You should try blinking sometime. The brighter my light, the stronger your shadow. Smile, it's called gunplay. Isn't looking good. Believe or burn. There's obviously tons of cards that stop this from working, but at least forces them to have one of those and to play it. They had a lot of champions. Extra Draven, extra Jinx. So I'm going to be playing the Sunburst next turn on the Jinx. So I'm going to play this and the Duskbringer this turn. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Now it's a party. Which I guess maybe I mean I guess I could have played this Dustbringer afterwards if if they want to go like discard discard get the deal four and deal one I guess that's a thing they can do. Now we're cooking. So if I would I would if I would have waited they couldn't do that. At least they wouldn't kill my Dustbringer to do that. I don't think. I don't think they played, or yes, they did play Get Excited this this game, didn't they? Yeah, so maybe our Spell Thief hits Get Excited. They've played a ton of spells, though, so it's not super likely, but maybe we can get, get excited. I mean, it just wouldn't matter. They would have just held on to that deal four, deal one, probably, until I played. No. Yeah, I would have been able to play the one drop, so that's going to probably cost me. Ooh, we, we hit it. We got fortunate. My beautiful face. All right, now this is a game now. As darkness falls, this is a game rises. now. We're gonna have Golden Sister, and then I'll have the give the life steal to the Silver Sister also. Give them both life steal. Mm. But I think we got this. I am with you. Should have it. They need to draw Jinx.
All right. How about that? We played against non Aphelios. Got the win. So far, all three games, whichever person has had the most Aphelioses has won. Okay, so same matchup again. Do I keep star shaping? Yeah, I think I do. <clears throat> Let's see what they got. Another day in the field. All right, Timo. Sorry, Veil Tempo. Hmm. paint is just accidental art. I was hoping for the challenger, of course. Probably, like, if they attack out, I actually probably need to block the Battlecaster. Okay, they did not attack out. We chart our path by the stars. The party has arrived. It's Draven, the glorious executioner. Forgive me. Good opening hand for them. Turn one Teemo, turn two Battlecaster with an extra 1-1, one, one, and then turn three Draven. Good opener. Alright, so they've played this Poro Cannon. I'm going to get to slow down their poros. And sneaky. I like it. <laughs> Hold still. Exercise caution. All right, so we take 5, but we clear out a whole bunch of stuff. Get rid of both of these arena battlecasters. Ooh, they're discarding that other one. That means... Um, I think I'm just going to pass priority to them. Because Jinx, Jinx is scarier than Draven. And so I really want this falling comment for Jinx. How they just discarded... Discarding that 1-1 one -one was kind of surprising. We're going to pass priority to them. See if they play a Jinx. There we go. You should try blinking sometime. We'll obliterate that. I feel pretty good about this game with the double star shaping. Axes coming right up. So I know I could challenge like the precious pet, 
and then but then you know, like kind of force them to use spinning axe on on this if they want to kill the fangs but i like getting rid of this flame chompers to um, you know because it's just you know free kill here but they if they want a spinning axe I, mean, I, I like doing that like i know that the fangs probably just trades with the precious bat but i'm fine with that wow they're trading with the goat not the fangs they're letting me keep the life steal <clears throat> Very interesting. Oh, that's why. Well, I'm glad we opened attacked. It's definitely good we opened attacked. That's that was like their best draw, right? Even like maybe even more so than at Jinx. <clears throat> that's definitely the kind of card they needed to draw. We're gonna take the cheapest of the cards. And good thing that we did, because we got one extra mana for the Duskbringer if they let us play something else. I'm playing the Destroyer first to be able to block the Draven or block that thing. I gotta work with this Joker. But that worked out taking the seven mana card. I hope they don't have a Whirling Death. Oh, right. This thing has Spell Shield. It can't get Whirling Death anyway. My beautiful face. Right, right. Aphelios! The brighter my light, the stronger your shadow. Gravity or Overwhelm? Let's take Gravity. Stun or Overwhelm? From darkness, <laughs> light. Alright, that's a lot of Nexus healing. How easy on the hands, they're new. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we got a game again. We got Jinx. Game is not over. Yeah, this game's not over now. By a long shot. So there goes two blockers for me. Stun, and then we can go grab the party has arrived. The overwhelm, I guess. So I want to play it, yeah. So yeah, we want to play it next turn. Make sure that we have two cards that we're playing next turn, so we can get the next one. We grab the. It's basically, you know, like will they find? Will they find an elusive to block this great beyond? And if they do, I get to stun it. Um. I guess they could also have you know, another get excited. 
Yeah. Okay, I'm 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 very glad about that. I'm very glad about that. I'm worried about like, you know, if they go get excited if they would have done that to my Nexus. That would have been a lot scarier. I stand for that should be it. Work with this joker. Boom. Man, that was crazy close. Rest now, Fel. Feel the moonlight's warmth. All right, Jinx, Zoe. Let's see. So we're all five of these decks PNZ. Were the first two decks we played against were they both PNZ? I don't know. It's it's not like the, the, these cards aren't bad. They're not our champions, and so I think that we just kind of mulligan and, and look for our champions because it's not like any of the cards in our deck are bad. They forced us to choose death or the blade. One was Ionia. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, the first one was Ionia. That's right. The first one was that uh, Ionia stun version. All right, so this could definitely be a time like where we actually try out this Veiled Temple and see how it does. There Jinx. I think we can get away with having the Meteor Shower, because that to be able to kill Jinx Zoe instead of getting Falling Comet. I think we can get a, get away with one one cheaper mana. Okay. Veiled Temple Mirror. Yeah, why do I wait to, to play the 2-1 on turn 2? Kind of habit um, with Nightfall decks of like waiting on it for Nightfall. But this, this deck doesn't really need that. I, I could have easily just played it on turn 1 with this deck. Um, yeah, it was just kind of habit, story. honestly. So if I go Dust and then Aphelios, will the Aphelios turn into a 4-4? Is that right? Her flowers bring them like Let's just be a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. That's pretty good. So grab the thing that can get another 2-drop, and because basically just kind of get the 2-drop out of my deck. I don't want to draw it. Um, the stun didn't really seem to matter. Obviously, we don't really need the life steal or the overwhelm right now. The deal 3 damage. Didn't seem to matter that much either. Because hmm. I still have Sunburst to be able to kill a champion if they do end up with a champion. weapon. Okay, so I play Priestess, then... I mean, they're they're probably not emptying their hand right here, right? Like, they're probably not. I wouldn't think so. Show your path for the mountain changes. Watch your step! Alright, Severum's Lifesteal. And then this is, is this Gravity? 
Yeah, I won't gravity. Gravitum. I know I'm just freeing up slots for them, but I, I also just want to get the moon weapons out of my hand so we phase other moon weapons and we go towards leveling up Aphelio. So I also just want to um, get rid of the moon weapons as well. Wow, so they did, they did unload their hand this turn. With that Jinx, that's very impressive. They had five cards in hand whenever I said they're probably not going to unload him, but yeah, they unloaded all five. I'm going to hold on to this messenger until next turn. It'll be my second card, so I can go, basically, because I want to be able to go Sunburst and then have another card. Because, uh, you know, we, we, you want to play two spells with these things. Aphelios gonna be big. We're definitely really far ahead now, but we'll see if they, you know, draw well and cheat us out, but we're definitely really far ahead right now. Man, I don't even know if I'm supposed to be playing that. Looks like probably not. Crescendum's getting the two drop. I guess the Inferno. I guess we go get Overwhelm. Two out of four. <laughs> Dang. That's that's the best draw on their deck. Jinx. Do you like when they're out of cards here? Is their best draw. So that's gonna kill my Zoe, unfortunately. Yeah, and I can't I can't protect the Zoe. There's nothing there with the super cool star chart that does. Does free up a, a spot for Solari Priestess next turn. I got the wrong one. I thought I was getting this thing. Calibrum. Not Crescent. It's just us. Yeah, that's that's the plan is to hush Jinx. We'll be just fine. Leveling up Aphelios.
<laughs> All right, uh, let's see. So now, how do we want to win? Probably want to play the Scourge. Oh no! Opponent, where'd you go? Keep faith, Aphelios. All right, Aphelios looks really, really strong. Veil Temple was nice. That was that was definitely a good addition to the deck afterwards. Um, you know, we put it in the Veil Temple for those last three games, but we didn't really need those the Veil Temple for those two games against the Burn deck. But we saw in that mirror type match the Veil Temple was really nice. Now, my opponent had drew all three of their Veil Temples, and that didn't look so good of, of having like multiples of them like that, but. Um, yeah, Aphelios was just amazing, and uh, the first two games, my opponent out aphelios us, and so we lost them even with, like, uh, both games, like, we had, like, Dom and Zoe in both games, but they just out aphelios us, so, that, so we lost both of those, um, but then the game, uh, you know, then the next two games, my opponent was not playing aphelios we were, so we won those, and then the last game, well, also my opponent wasn't playing aphelios and we were, and we won, um, you know, aphelios took that one down. Yeah, this this champion looks incredibly good. I think that you know Zoe and Aphelios together, maybe the best champion combination in the game right now. Um, this deck probably could be improved if you put in a little bit of extra cards in some other regions, but I don't know. Like I, I don't know if, if other regions are really that necessary. But there's there's probably like one card in another region that you want to play over one of these cards. Um, you know, maybe it's a maybe it's just a different two drop instead of these things that are pretty mediocre. Um, Maybe it's, you know, so maybe there's something something else there. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know exactly what the card is to splash. I don't, um, but there's there's probably like some really important card to, to splash. Sub Percival, you play that instead of the Fangs, basically, um, which, which is definitely an option. You could play Sub Percival instead of the Fangs. Um, yeah, a lot of people splash Atrocity. Uh, but I feel like I don't I don't honestly like the atrocity splash. I, I just don't really feel like I don't know, maybe it's good. Maybe it's good because because these decks don't really have the fast speed interaction as much But usually like the games that you win like you don't need atrocity to win the games, right? Like if, if you're gonna be winning the game you can win the game without atrocity But if you play against like that jinx draven burn deck and your hand is just like atrocities and veil temples And you know like you could in these guys, you know, you could suddenly start having more cards that are just bricks the that uh, cost you the game Like that's that's where you you know where you can start losing to those Jinx Draven decks if you just have atrocities in your deck. Uh, but yeah, the, this this deck was really good. So you know we went three two, and I think the first the first game I made a couple of mistakes. The the attack with Zoe was a mistake, and then obviously at the very end I played that Priestess. Remember that one? That was a mistake. So um, I think that between those two things, I really should have won that first game. So it could have been a four one here, but. Um, yeah, I was very, very impressed with the Philios and also impressed with this Veiled Temple. Um, that's not a landmark, but should be a landmark. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you, what kind of Philios decks have you been playing. Um, you know, like uh, just the um, how I talked about the deck at the end. Do you have any other kind of like conclusions about the deck? Have you been playing this kind of stuff? Any, you know, any specific one individual card that you really enjoy splashing um, and why? You know, I, I would love to hear that. What what card could we splash in here and why and what and uh, what over? You know, like what would you what would you take out for what card and why? I would I would uh, love to hear those comments. If you got any ideas, um, put them there in the chat. But this was all Targon and it definitely showed that you can just play one region and uh, do just fine with a singular region. The Sunbursts were awesome. That This is a card that not very many people play, but I really like it, and it they were awesome for us, right? Like, we were killing Jinxes and Victors and Aphelios and all sorts of stuff that we needed to kill with the Sunbursts. They were awesome. All right, but that's it here for Aphelios Zoe. Feel the rush? Ooh, that could be cool. Uh, that's it here for Aphelios Zoe. Those of you watching later on YouTube, of course, like I said, leave those comments, but also thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that. And I will see you for the next video.